begins on September 3, 2081, shortly before an eclipse. We follow a space transport landing at the South Pole's Aiken Station. At this unique location, the sun is always near the horizon. There are mountain peaks always in sunshine and valleys so deep that sunlight never reaches them. In these valleys, colonists have found ice that comets brought to the moon long ago. Within the last few years, lunar colonies have become stable and profitable through mining helium-3 to feed nuclear fusion reactors, silicon to make solar cells, and oxygen to power rockets bound for asteroids and the other planets. The moon also supports a thriving tourist trade and large solar energy collecting farms that power the colony and beam energy to Earth. With their lower gravity, these moon bases also provide the astronaut crews adapted to explore Mars and the nearby asteroids. A grandfather and his grandchildren watch the transports land as they wait for the eclipse to begin. Earth is the grandfather's home world, but an alien world for his grandchildren born on the moon. They have never experienced a world with an atmosphere, rain, rivers, or life and they know that their bones and muscles could not survive the crushing gravity of this beautiful world they can see, but never touch. Colonists watch spaceships landing and taking off and enjoy watching the Earth. When the Earth is full, a blue glow lights the moon's craters and mountains, making the experience especially beautiful. Families with telescopes gather to enjoy the night and each other's company. It's approaching midnight of the two-week-long lunar night, a time marked by full Earth. Protected from solar radiation by the moon and bathed in Earth light, colonists have chosen this time as the safest and most beautiful for an excursion outside. Full Earths during eclipses are rare and special. Grandpa, what's so special about this eclipse? Each month, our moon circles the Earth. As it moves between the Earth and Sun, the moon casts a very long shadow across space. Most months, the shadow moves above or below the Earth. But tonight, our shadow will fall on the Earth. And people in the shadow will watch the moon cover the sun. On the moon, we will see our shadow moving across the Earth from the Atlantic Ocean to Asia. How's the new telescope working, Maria? Is it easy to find the planets? It's great, Grandpa. I've already pointed the scope toward Earth for the eclipse. Oh, I'm glad to be here to see this with you. I hope this will be the first of many eclipses we spend together. Maria, zoom in on the Atlantic Ocean. I think we can see our shadow. There it is, that black dot. That's the moon's shadow. 
The people in that shadow can see the moon crossing in front of the sun. Wow, that's our shadow. Looks pretty big. Look, Grandpa, a shadow has reached land. You're right, Maria. In fact, our shadow is crossing France, a very old and interesting country. People lived there during the Ice Ages. 